kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Surprise. It was a holiday, National Kittens Day. A special day when parents give their kittens little gifts to celebrate. This Kittens Day, you'll be getting one big present to share, my kittens, but it's a so awesome <gasps> one. You'll get your present this evening, but try to be patient. It'll be a surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! These kittens just couldn't bear the wait for evening. Look, a delivery truck is delivering something. It must be huge. <laughs> wow, that box is massive. Our present must be inside. Yep, Mommy <laughs> did say that it would be a big surprise. <laughs> that box is big enough that it might have a complete set of plant encyclopedias. <laughs> It's so big, it could hold all the parts of a real-life pirate ship. All hands on deck! <laughs> Maybe it's a big musical instrument, like a beautiful harp. Well, the box is so big, it could have almost anything inside. find out what it is until this evening. I'll never be able to wait that long. Let's go and take a look inside the box right now. Mommy and Daddy said it's a Kitten's Day surprise. We can pretend to be surprised tonight when we open it. All right, but Mommy and Daddy probably hit the box. We need to find it and be super stealthy, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens looked all over the house, but they didn't find the box. Where could they hide a box that big? We've looked everywhere in the house. Not down there. <gasps> Let's open it right now! That is a surprise. You think that Mommy and Daddy want to redecorate our room using this giant vase? But it will get in the way of everything. Kittens, the time has come for your present. Your big surprise is waiting in your room. Come find out what it is. Hooray! Hooray! Surprise! All right, lift the box off. I want to see your faces when you see what's inside. I'm not sure I can pretend to be happy and surprised at all. <laughs> we already know there's just a vase in the box. We couldn't help it and had a look inside earlier. We're sorry that we ruined your nice surprise. Why not look inside the box anyway? Maybe you'll still find a surprise. Huh. Whoa! Whoa. Wow, wow, look, look, at, look that. at that! It's a magic town with clocks! And it lights up in the dark. That's why we wanted to give it to you in the evening, so you could see it in all its glory. We bought it a couple of weeks ago. The vase is a present for Grandma, but the vase box was just exactly the right size to put your actual present inside and help give all of you a nice surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> the kitty cats had a lovely evening with their parents, celebrating Kitten's Day. And they realized that surprises are worth waiting for. Kittens on Time. One day, Cookie, Pudding, Candy, and Mustard were playing on the playground. 
putting on a Cinderella play for my mommy's birthday. Of course, I'll play Cinderella. But would you guys play all the other parts? I can play the prince, and Pudding can play the king. Mm. Candy can be the fairy godmother, <laughs> and Mustard can be the evil stepmother. <laughs> yeah, I can do that, sure. We also need a place to rehearse. That's no problem. We can have the rehearsals at our tree house. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! It wasn't very long until the play needed to be ready for Cupcake's mom's birthday, so the kittens worked very hard getting their costumes ready. Just as planned, they hurried to the treehouse in the morning to start rehearsals. Where's Cupcake, huh? I got up very early to be here. I'm sorry. I switched my alarm off so I didn't get up on time. everyone. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's lunchtime. I'm going home. We'll just rehearse without the evil stepmother. But I've only memorized the first part of the play, the evil stepmother part. So we can just start again tomorrow. <sighs> the next morning, Cupcake was late again. I just can't seem to wake up on time. Plus, I'm also running late to my dance class. We'll just have to rehearse fast, then. Cinderella, you have to bake a dress, scrub the beans, and sew the buttons on the stove. What? I think you mixed some things up there. Well, Ooh. welcome to the fancy royal ball. Did somebody Ooh. order one glass slipper? That comes later. You've all got to learn your parts better. We'll try to rehearse again tomorrow, all right? I have to get to my dance class. Bye. <laughs> But the next morning, Cupcake was late yet again. And they only had one rehearsal left before her mom's birthday. Uh, Kindly stuff huh? your dainty foot in this slipper. No, the slipper part's at the end. How can we perform this play if none of you learn your parts right? But you're always late, Cupcake. We can never rehearse our parts because we're waiting for you. Oh, yes, you're right. I just don't know how I'll ever wake up on time. Maybe you should stay awake all night. Then Cupcake would end up falling asleep right on stage. <sighs> Maybe you should get the biggest alarm clock ever. I mean, super big. <sighs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Where would we ever get an alarm clock that big? I have a really good idea. Cupcake needs to put her alarm clock away from her bed. That way she won't switch it off. <laughs> if Cupcake's trying to get the alarm clock way up there, she'll wake up for sure. Great idea. That's what I'll do. The next morning, the kittens were surprised. Well, good morning, everybody. I've been waiting for you to rehearse. And that day, everyone got a chance to memorize and rehearse their lines. <laughs> My lady, you're not leaving yet. I'm afraid I must be going now. But perhaps we'll meet again someday. And I promise that I won't be late. Happy birthday! Thank you, everyone. You were just amazing. But my cupcake is such a sleepyhead. How on earth did you get all of this work done? Thanks to the kitty cats, I'm not a sleepyhead anymore, Mommy. They helped me learn to get up on time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cupcake's mom loved the surprise. And Cupcake has been on time ever since. The kitten's little cousin. One day, Mommy told the kitty cats that they had guests coming over. Kittens, guess what's happening today? My sister, your Aunt Cinnamon, is coming to visit. And she'll be bringing her little son, Bagel, along with her. We have a real-life cousin? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'm curious what our cousin, Bagel, is really like. I'm sure he's really well-behaved. Good afternoon, cousin. What a charming bow you have. Huh? I'm sure that he loves to read. <laughs> and 
And I bet he's good at playing soccer. With him on our side, we'll have the best team ever. Or an amazing music band. <laughs> Hi. Hello there, Cinnamon. Auntie Cinnamon! <laughs> Hello there, little kittens. My, how big you've all gotten. Where's Bagel? We want to meet our cousin. Of course, here's your cousin. <laughs> um, is that really our cousin? Now, sweetie, behave yourself. You play with your little cousin and we'll go make some tea. The kittens hadn't expected Bagel to be so little. They didn't know what to do. He can't even walk. How can we play with him? And he really can't talk at all. Oh, be careful. This is my very favorite dolly. See this cool ball bagel? You can play with it if you want to, all right? <laughs> I guess you're too small to play with it right. Hey, look at this. It's the best game ever. It's called chess. <laughs> oh, ball yeah. from my chess set. You can't play with my doll. <laughs> or with my toy cars. <laughs> We should try to calm him down. We can't let him play with the windmill model. It's for kittens that are way bigger than him. If he plays with it, it'll get broken. That's it. I have a really good idea. We just need to find some baby toys for him. When I was just a little kitten, I loved this rattle very much. Look, isn't it cute? The kittens found the toys they had played with when they were little themselves. Kittens, you've become real friends with Bagel. Well, we need to make sure we come visit you guys more often. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats saw that playing with little kittens can be fun, especially if you try to remember what it was like to be a baby yourself. Scarecrow. One day, the kitty cats went to visit Grandma. Stay away, chicky birds. Ah, all done. All the seeds are planted. Soon we'll have a garden full of lovely carrots. Ah, uh -huh. hey! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Granny, why are you scaring the birds away? Are they doing something wrong? Well, unfortunately, they were. If I didn't stop them, they'd eat every seed I plant. And if I didn't shoo them off, ah, scat! I wouldn't have a garden. Oh. Let's help Granny protect her garden from the seed thieves. All right, great idea. It's gonna be so, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Thanks for the help, my darling kittens. I'll go and start on the oh. lunch. The kittens found it easy to shoo the birds away, but they didn't stay away for long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too tired to keep running 
like this. Uh, well, why don't we just stand here? They probably wouldn't come back if we did that. No way! Standing around all day? Boring. <gasps> what if we painted some big pictures of ourselves and left them right where we are now? The birds will think we're still standing here and stay away. Candy painted lovely portraits of herself and her brothers. But unfortunately, they didn't scare the birds at all. Hey! Shoo, birdies! Cookie, I think that the birds can tell that these are just drawings and aren't really us at all. Then I think we have to build something that looks like a real scary kitten. Come on, let's try! Yeah, but it must be really scary, so the birds are too terrified to come near it. The kittens found stuff around Granny's garden and made a terrifying scarecrow. They were really scared! <laughs> Goodness, who is that? What are you doing here? Speak or I'll call the police! Granny, it's okay. That's just our super duper scarecrow. It will scare any bird who dares to enter the garden. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea, children. Oh, but it also scares grandmothers. Oh, I don't think I want to look at that thing for long. Hmm. Perhaps there's a less scary way to protect the seeds. Hmm, we could cover the dirt with something. That way the birds wouldn't be able to get to the seeds. be able to grow then. They'd have no sunshine. We could put up a humongous fan to blow the birds away. But how is Granny going to water the garden then? Oh, oh. oh the birds are back. They're not even a little bit scared. Oh, boy, aren't they scared of anything at all? Huh? Hang on, look at that! The pinwheel, they're afraid of the pinwheel! It spins around and makes a clicking noise as well. Then I know just what the garden needs. My darlings, it's time for lunch. Oh, well, isn't that pretty? What do you think of it, Granny? These are our beautiful scarecrow wheels. Well, I had no idea it was possible to scare birds away with something that beautiful. My darlings, you're the cleverest kittens ever. Still, I feel bad for the birds. Won't they go hungry now without any seeds? We can help them. How about we feed them some nice, yummy crumbs? So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! Thanks to the kitty cats, Granny's seeds grew safely and the birds got some food. The Sweet Truth One day, the kittens went with their parents to a festival where Daddy was going to display his delicious cookies. This spot is perfect. Apparently, whoever has made the tastiest treats wins a very special badge. Yeah, and I've prepared some super yummy cookies that are guaranteed to knock their socks off. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Is this one of the yummy cookies that's going to knock their socks off? You betcha, and I call it the magic cookie. Go ahead, try it. You'll see why. Mm. It's so great! <laughs> well, thank you. Do you see? It's magic because of what's inside. You kittens can go explore while we stay and get the booth set up. Just be careful to stay in the fairgrounds. As the kittens looked at the other booths, they started to feel a little nervous that the other treats looked yummier than Daddy's. Hmm? Hmm. Pretty good, but Dad's cookies are way yummier. But who'll notice these plain looking cookies with all these fancy pastries around? Pretzels, all flavors of pretzels. Pretzels with apple, apricots, or honey. Hot and so fresh. I mm. got it, we just need to tell everyone that Dad's cookies are delicious. Mm. The kittens wanted to help Daddy, so they made posters to advertise Daddy's yummy cookies. Great cookies, great cookies. Come and try some great cookies. Hi there. Hey, guys. You've got to try the cookies our dad made. Sure we will. 
But first, I've got to try some of those sugar butterflies because they're just so beautiful. And I want some star-shaped lollipops. And cream-filled pastries. They really look amazing, don't they? We better hurry before they're all gone. Hmm. They'll never make it to Dad's cookies at all like this. I know how to get their attention. Hey, you guys want to experience something super awesome? Huh? Did, Did you, you say, say something, something super awesome? The magic cookie. Just one cookie is as amazing as flying in the sky. Just one of Daddy's cookies is as lovely as watching fireworks. Just one cookie is as exciting as riding a dolphin. <laughs> The magic cookie from Kitty Cats! Try one now! Oh, wow! We want your cookies! Hey, my cookie isn't working! I'm still on the ground! I should be flying by now! Yes, and I can't see any fireworks at all! Where's the tiara I wished for? You promised us magic, but everything you said about these cookies was just a lie! Did they believe my cookies were actually really magic? Well, we kind of said stuff just to get them interested. And they haven't even taken a bite to try them out. Yes, well, of course not. They were upset they didn't experience the miracles they were expecting. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we shouldn't have made up lies about your cookies being really magic. But your cookies look so ordinary on the outside. How can we explain how amazing they really are? I have a really good idea. We'll tell the truth about how extra yummy Dad's magic cookies are, but in an extraordinary way. They might look ordinary, but try a bite and you will learn that they're the very best cookies ever true. Don't pass them by. Come give them a try. You'll be impressed. These cookies are the Well, let's get this over with. Mm. These cookies are truly delicious. The best in show badge is yours. Every pastry shop in town ought to be selling your cookies. They're wonderful. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kittens worked out how to tell everyone the sweet truth about their daddy's wonderfully scrummy cookies. Playing in the dark. One night, Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Whoa! The lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah! Cookie pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there. Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. <laughs> going down the steps, dears. Uh, Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even darker down there, you know. I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! 
Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark. Especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. <laughs> Come and look at this candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> and this is a butterfly. Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner and all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh -huh. is served. Uh -huh. Oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. Uh -huh. Hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again all we want. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah! Oh. It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. Championship. With only a few more days left until kickoff, you can bet the stadium will be flooded with fans very soon. And here comes our city's own team and their glorious captain. <laughs> are we going to the stadium too? Of course we are, kittens. It's the only way to truly support our team. Oh. <laughs> In fact, I was just about to call and book our tickets this minute. We'll get to watch the game right there at the stadium, just like real fans! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> we'll get to see our team win! And after the game, we can drive back waving our winning team's flags! No! No! Huh? <gasps> There are no more tickets left. They've already sold out every seat. Oh, all is lost. Aww. It doesn't really matter, my darling. I'm sure we'll survive. We'll just watch the game on television. <laughs> Come now, I'll make some nice tea for you. Poor Daddy, he's such a mega fan. I feel bad for him now. Attention, soccer fans. The contest for the best trick with a soccer ball is now underway. The winner will be awarded an official team ball, presented by the captain himself. Hey, we need to win that ball for Daddy, because that would really cheer him up. I will now bounce this ball on my head a hundred times. One, two, three, oops. Just a sec. This time for real. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. 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 One, two. Oh. All right, maybe I can't bounce it a hundred times. Well, maybe you could make just one tricky shot. A super incredible one. Hey, Cookie here. I will now kick this ball through that door. Then it'll roll down the slide on the other side. Cool, let's try. Ah! Ugh. Ouch! Ouch! I don't think I can do it. I have a 
really good idea, but to make it work, we'll need a little help from our friends. The kitten's friends agreed to help them perform the ball trick. We ready? Yeah! yeah. All right, let's do it! Now let's send this into the trick shot contest. The next day, they announce the contest winner. And the winner of the trick shot contest huh? is Cat the Artist. Aww. For his creative approach to soccer. He will receive an official team ball from the captain. But we'd also <laughs> like to mention another special video from the Kitty Cats and Friends. No way, they're showing our video. And as a special prize, all these adorable kittens and their parents will receive tickets to the championship game. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The stadium is completely full tonight. The home team leads to the score of two to zero. The captain's power kick, the ball soars high into the air, and it's by the hand of the puppy of Spain. Watching the championship match and cheering for your team from the stands can be a wonderful experience, especially when you're with your family. Tennis with Dad. One day, Mommy was talking to someone on the phone. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, it sounds like a wonderful idea. When would you like to play? Okay, well, I'll see you then. Hmm. And what are you going to be playing, my darling? Well, you and I will be playing together, doubles tennis, with Chase's mom and dad. Whoa! You mean you're going to play a tennis match? So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! But Kitty, hold on. I'm not really the best tennis player. That's all right. I can pick up the slack for you. We'll play a few sets. Uh, only one set, all right? I've got things to take care of. All right, one set and that's all. Off to the gym. Have to be in great shape for tomorrow. Uh, we're going to lose no matter what, and it'll all be my fault. Hey, don't worry, Daddy. You've still got plenty of time to practice. That's right. We can help you, Daddy. The backyard was the perfect place to practice. The key to doubles tennis is to stay out of your partner's way and return the ball. Daddy, just pretend that all of these things are mommy and remember to keep away from them. This is mom then? <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, kitty dear, I'm sorry. Oh, oh pardon me. <laughs> mm. oh, oh, that was an accident. Oh, ah. Oh, hey, oh, no, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. What's wrong? Daddy hasn't hit a single tennis ball yet. He's not moving fast enough to get them. He'd be much faster if he wore a pair of roller skates. But I never figured out how to stop on roller skates. I could mommy's way even more like this. Uh, maybe you could just stand in one spot and wait for the ball to come to you. If you did that, you wouldn't get in Mom's way. <laughs> what if the ball never comes near him? Then it would be like Mommy was playing all by herself. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid is going to happen. When it comes to tennis, I'm the worst. <sighs> To cheer everyone up, Daddy offered the kitten some tea along with his signature cake. You may not be the world's greatest tennis player, Daddy, but you make the yummiest desserts ever. Right. Good-looking ones, too. Just look at that icing. Learning how to bake like this took quite a lot of practice. I had to learn the basics first, such as how to whip cream. I've got a really good idea. I know how we can teach Daddy tennis now. Oh, uh, I thought we were finished with all that tennis stuff. Dad no need to worry. I promise you'll do awesome this time. <laughs> oh, 
In tennis, just like in anything else, it's best to start with the basics and eventually move on to bigger things. <laughs> We might have won the set, but you guys played excellently. I was surprised. Yeah, you played so wonderfully, darling. Too bad you can't play longer. It'd be great to play some more sets. <laughs> we could play another ten sets. I'm absolutely free until tonight. Awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! <laughs> And that's how simple exercises helped Daddy to believe in himself. Because it always feels good to just try your very best. Ghosts. One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to clean every nook and cranny in the house. While you are carefully vacuuming every rug we have, I will do the window washing. Then we'll do the cellar together. Also, we have to change all of the bedding in the house and wash all the curtains huh? and dust the shelves. Hey, we'd like to help you both with the house cleaning. Really? Are you sure you won't get distracted and start playing? We won't get distracted. We really want to help. Pretty please, Mommy. Okay, now Candy, you can wipe all the dust off all the shelves. While Cookie and Pudding change all the bed sheets in your room, all right? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wouldn't it just be super awesome to have a big pillowcase race? <laughs> 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 Sure would, but first we have to finish our work, remember? <laughs> hey, Pudding, you look amazing, just like a genuine real-life ghost. <laughs> so do you. I can see you through the sheet. Me too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid, Candy? Remember, there's no such thing as ghosts. But I really saw them. Do you think they live in the basement and we disturbed them with all the spring cleaning? Imagining things, sweetheart. We don't need to worry about ghosts. But not having enough time to hang the linens out to dry does worry me. Candy wanted to take a picture of the ghosts and show it to Mommy. Oh, they're not here! Admit it. We really got you. Boo! <laughs> <gasps> How awful! Uh, Mommy, are you that afraid of these ghosts? No, I'm afraid that you have muddied up my nice clean linens. It was absolutely Cookie and Pudding's fault. They were running around pretending to be ghosts instead of cleaning. You weren't doing your cleaning either. You forgot all about dusting the shelves. Instead, you were just chasing us around. Yeah, and you're the reason we ended up in the puddle and got all muddy. Oh, I just knew you kittens would end up playing and forget all about cleaning. Hey, I know what we should do. We need to finish the jobs that we started, but without any distractions, like ghost chasing.
That's a really good idea, Candy. Come on, I'll find some other clean linens for the beds. Mommy, we finished everything! Great, kittens! All that's left is cleaning up the basement. After that, all of our housekeeping jobs will be finished. Uh, 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 it's a real ghost! Uh, 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 Oh, my kitty, I just found these cool old white curtains in the basement. What should I do with them? Daddy! Oh, <laughs> I think these old sheets would be just perfect for dressing up as ghosts. So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! Whoa. <laughs> and that's how the kitty cats learned that playing could be even more fun after all the work was done. The Sock Puppet Saga. One day, Mommy brought up a big box from the basement. I win! Kittens! <laughs> hmm? Take a look. This box is full of your old toys. Hooray! I can't wait to play with all of them! <laughs> First, you have to look through all of these hmm? and then decide which toys you want to keep and which toys to give away. Once you're done with that, you can play with them. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> <laughs> look at this! It's Cheeky, my old sock puppet! Hello! Mommy told us many stories about Cheeky, how Cheeky would eat all the sweets. And he sneaks and tugs on kittens' tails in the night. Cookie, we're trying to sort through toys here. Your stories really aren't helping. Hey, I'm helping out. Like, for example, I've decided Cheeky stays. Yep, yep. Ow! Cookie, that hurts! Stop! I'm not Cookie, I'm Cheeky! No, you're not. You're just my brother with a puppet. Oh, hey, Cookie, stop that! I'm Cheeky! Try and catch me if you can! <laughs> Looks like we'll have to catch Cheeky if we want to get our work done. Huh? Track Cheeky down! Detective Bowtie always gets his puppet! <laughs> Detective Bowtie and Sheriff Sweetie set out to find Cheeky. as always, and the detective and the sheriff were both chasing it. They were chasing very fast, so they didn't see the bull. Huh. Are you telling me that socks with buttons for eyes are to blame? Yeah! Uh. I didn't have any idea that sock puppets could do such things. Does that sound right to you, Kitten Mitten, my kitchen mitt puppet? It was just Kitten Mitten doing it. La, 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 bla. Um, sorry, Mommy. It was us who broke the bowl and made this mess. I guess it's probably better if we put Cheeky and the detectives away. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We should clean up the mess and stop blaming the sock puppets for what we did. When we're done cleaning, we can put on a puppet play. Now that is a wonderful idea, Candy. Kittens, it is really important that you take responsibility for what you do. And don't dump the blame onto someone else, especially an old sock. 
The kittens finished cleaning up and found another use for their puppets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think this wonderful show could use another character or two. Don't you, Kitten Mitten? My goodness, but you're a handsome cat. And Sir uh, Goofy McPook. <laughs> so awesome! <laughs> be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The kitty cats and their parents had a lot of fun performing their puppet play. The restaurant. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kittens to a restaurant to celebrate their wedding anniversary. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. We're celebrating with our favorite meal tonight. This place has got the best pumpkin pie in the entire town. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Shh. Hush, kittens. You must mind your manners at a restaurant this night. Oh. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, sir. Allow me to escort your family to your table. Here we are. Uh -huh. Wow, it's a picture from your wedding. You looked really good back then, Mom. <laughs> looked back then? Mommy and Daddy still look just as good. Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> ah, oh, we know what we'd like to order. Can you please bring us the specialty of the house, the pumpkin pie? But of course. This is boring, guys. Is this any way to have an anniversary celebration? I expected something really fun. Where are the fireworks and balloons? Why are there no rose petals falling from the ceiling? And aren't doves supposed to hold up a congratulations banner? Uh, this can't be much fun uh, for our poor parents. Let's try and figure out how to make this celebration even better. Well, we can ask the piano player to play a song that our parents love. We can ask the waiter to light some nice romantic candles when he brings us our pie. That's a great idea, Cookie. And I know something we can use instead of rose petals. Pink napkin pieces. Awesome. Operation Celebration begins now. Mm -hmm. Mommy? Mm -hmm. Daddy? Mm -hmm. May we go to the restroom to wash our paws? Mm -hmm. You may, kittens. Just be careful. The kittens tried their very best to help their parents enjoy their special night. Mm -hmm. Pudding made arrangements with the pianist. Oh. As did Cookie with the waiter. <laughs> and Candy collected napkins. I figured out how to turn off the light. The candles will look better in the dark. Now we just need to wait until they bring our pumpkin pie out. Look, it's huh? coming now! All right, it's time! Oh, I'm very sorry. Mr. Waiter Cat, you were supposed to light the candles when you brought our pie out. But that wasn't your pie, little ones. It was for that gentle cat there. Whew. Here comes yours now. Oh, no. We wanted to make this the perfect celebration, but we just ruined everything. <laughs> we can see that you tried hard, kittens. It means a lot to us. <laughs> However, it's better if we started heading home. I'm very sorry for all this. I'd like you to have our pie as an apology. Oh, no worries. But you have something big to celebrate, don't you? So please, take it home with you. I have a really good idea. Welcome to Le Fantastic Kitty Cat Restaurant. Might I suggest that you order the specialty of the house? Pumpkin pie. Enjoy. Happy anniversary, my dear wonderful wife. Happy anniversary, darling. Congratulations! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kitty cats made a lovely celebration, just like in a proper restaurant. It was wonderfully festive and very touching for their mommy and daddy.
at Daddy's work. One day, Daddy came home from work very tired. Oh. Daddy's home! Hey, Daddy, play tag with us. You're it. Come on, Dad. I'm sorry, kittens, but it was a hard day at work, and I'm exhausted. But you work at a candy factory. What's hard about that? Yeah, it's the greatest job of all time. <laughs> Your office probably has a chocolate river. <laughs> That's not the way things are. Tell you what, I'll take you with me to work tomorrow for a factory tour. You can see for yourselves. We get to go work with Daddy! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Daddy took the kittens to the factory and showed them his office. Awesome! Coming up with ideas for new sweets must be so much fun! You think it's easy to come up with new sweets, kittens? Of course! Like, um, eclairs with honey in them. Already have that. Uh, how about blueberry donuts? <laughs> Already got them. How about a cookie that's shaped like a car with chocolate wheels and marshmallow cats riding inside? Yum. We've got that as well. Well, the part where you make the sweets has got to be really, really fun. Oh, well, look for yourselves. We have several manufacturing departments where different cakes and cookies are prepared. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Let's go there, Daddy. This is where such ingredients as eggs, sugar, and flour are stirred together to create a base for future sweet treats. How a sweet comes out depends on the way the base is mixed in step one. You can mix it so that it comes out crunchy, brittle, or chewy. Oh. Oh. Cookie, stop! <laughs> Look, kittens, this is all quite complex equipment. Please ask permission before you touch any of it. I'm really sorry, Daddy. I thought it would be easier to operate. Here's the main assembly line. Here the dough base is placed on the conveyor, and along the line, cream is added, and then the berries. By the end, it's a finished cream tart. You can place some tarts on the line, but please be careful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, goodness, my hat! Oh, my word! We have to stop the assembly line. <laughs> Daddy had to stop the main assembly line. <laughs> a cream-filled hat tart. Now that's a new sweet. Well, I can't wear it now, I guess. Guess not, but it's really good. The supermarket just called to make sure today's delivery is coming. But what's wrong? The assembly line is off. Uh, so we had a teeny tiny problem. <gasps> so we can't fill the order? I've got a really good idea. We can help you, right? There has to be some simple task that we can handle. <laughs> the kittens found it easy to put stamps on boxes. Soon, all the sweets were ready for delivery. Oh, right on time, as always. Thanks for the wonderful service and yummy treats. We aim to please. Plus, today at work, I've had a little extra help. Cookie candy pudding, thank you. Excellent work, kittens. We need to be getting back to the factory now. The kittens and I have more work to do. So me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now the kitty cats know that making sweet treats is not as easy as they thought, which makes them seem even more delicious. Forgive and forget. One day, the kittens decided to build a model of their home. Candy drew a pretty diagram of the house. Kittens, that's a wonderful idea. I can sew little doll versions of the family, and they can live in the little model house. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy and Candy went to the store to get some colored paper. Right, come along. I'll find you some cardboard, some glue, and scissors. 
Cookie and Pudding worked on the frame of the house following Candy's diagram. My half of the model's done, and it's awesome! All that's left is to cover it with colored paper! Oh. No, Cookie. <coughs> you just ruined a very important part. Well, would you like to crush part of my half of the model? That'd be kind of fair, right? Sure, all right. Huh? Why'd you have to break my roof? That's way harder to fix than the part I broke off yours. Uh, how about you cut off one of the walls of mine? All right. Oops. The, all right, now do I get to destroy your half of the house model? No. Just let me think for a minute. I'll find a way to make it up to you. Cookie offered Pudding his favorite, tomato juice. So now are we even? I don't think so. I don't really like tomato juice. I like apple juice much better. Then I gave up my juice for nothing at all? Uh, well, do you think we'd be even if I gave you my candy? Ah, it's a deal. I like candy very much. Let's go finish the house. Just wait a minute. Your half of the model is still fine, and plus, you got the candy. My house half is just rubble. All I got was that juice I don't even like the flavor of. No fair. <laughs> well, then what if I gave you my ship? But my ship's really awesome. It's way cooler than half of a model. What if I trade my magnifying glass to you? But wait, I love my magnifying glass so much. I could give you something besides that, or do something for you instead. Cookie and Pudding tried making it up to each other by giving gifts and doing nice things. Is there anything we can do for you to make it up? If you want, you can have my ship. My magnifying glass, too. I can push you on a swing for a long time. And then I can give you my dessert. This way we could really make it up to you. All right, stop, stop, stop. If someone you know does something wrong by mistake, you just need to work to fix that. Isn't that right, Candy? Yes, that's right. I have a really good idea. Pudding and cookie. I don't want you to do anything. You had me the second you said you're sorry. I forgive you. Oh, wow, that was simple. Pudding, I absolutely forgive you. <laughs> I absolutely forgive you too, Cookie. Well done. We'll work up a nice new diagram and build another house. So, so awesome. awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! And that's how the kitty cats realize that they have to forgive each other for making mistakes so everyone in the little house could live happily and help each other. Squabbling kitties. One day, Daddy suggested that the kittens play a board game. Look at this, kittens. Ah. And this game can be played by several players at once. There's no way that you could get bored with it. Mommy and Daddy have some things to take care of, but you can play the game together in the meantime. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Okay, I'll take the first turn. But Cookie, you go first every time. Let me be first for once. No fair, I never get to go first. Let me. But I'm faster, so I should be first. Oh. Huh? Me, I'm first. <laughs> the kittens didn't want to let each other go first. Woohoo! That was awesome! All right, 
it's your turn. Well, I'm done. I am not going to play with you anymore. I'm not either. Is that right? Well, in that case, I'm not playing with you two. So I'm going outside to play with my ball. The kittens thought that they would be happier without their siblings. I'm going to have so much more time to make wonderful dresses for my dollies. I'll come up with my own fashion collection and everyone will love, love, love it. And I'll become a great fashion designer. <laughs> Now I can devote myself completely to science and study cool stuff like plants and mushrooms. And I'll go everywhere in the world and discover all kinds of awesome things. Oh. <laughs> now I'll have lots more time to practice soccer. I'll become the captain of a famous team. Then we'll win the world championship. And win a giant trophy. But then the kittens realized that something was missing. Oh, I really wish Cookie and Pudding were here to see this. Yeah, I really wish I could share this with my brother and sister. Celebrating a win with pudding and candy would be just so awesome. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to take a look at the game board. Oh, um, are you having fun all by yourself? Sure, it's awesome. The most fun ever, ever. I'm having all the fun in the world. Huh? Boris came over to huh? visit the kittens. Who's there? It's Boris. Hi, Hi there, there, Boris. Hi, guys. Boris, come play a game with me. No, come play with me, Boris. You'd have way more fun if you played with me. Why don't we all play it together? We decided that we're never playing together again. Because someone always wants to be the one that plays first. Yeah, or getting offended by everything. We were fighting the whole time. I don't have any brothers or sisters at home, so I came to play with all of you, but you're fighting. Boris, don't leave. Let's all play together. I'll even let you be the one to play first. Can I play? I'm really tired of just sitting alone. I agree. I've got a really good idea. We should stop fighting over stuff and play together instead. <laughs> Looks like the game is at full swing. Have you got room there for two more players? <gasps> Your father and I would be very happy to play the game with you. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats realized that it's not that important if you go first or if you win, as long as your friends and family are with you.